Hello, welcome to this video. Today we are going to see how Google Sites can be created. We can make use of this Google Site variety of applications. We can project ourselves through a website. This website is given by the Google free of cost. So you can easily we can construct a website for free. You can ask a question, can we create a website for free? Yes, we can. That is Google Sites. We can share our thoughts, we can share our material and we can connect throughout the world. The first step, first and foremost step, we need to understand who is our audience. Who is our audience and their age, their demography, their purpose and etc. So these are the information we should understand. Then only we have to move forward to create a website. So at first, whatever uh, the website we are creating, uh, we are deciding some audience. Okay, for example, you are targeting some um, children. Otherwise, you are targeting some recruiters, or you are targeting um, to sell your product to our customers. So variety of purposes, right? So instead of going to uh, the conventional website by paying something to somebody else, we can make use of the Google Easy, the free web services, right? And always you keep your audience and your target in mind. Accordingly, we have to put the contents in the website. You should never appreciate to put any irrelevant content. And you have to give some commitment on time. Periodically, you have to update the contents of the website. That is very important. Otherwise, your, your, uh, um, the visitors will, uh, uh, the visitors should be happy about the latest uh, so updated information. Uh, and uh, the site notifies your last updates. So the audience also feel very happy by seeing that last update information. The design, the purpose for what you are creating the website. And uh, uh, you may share resources or you can share the class materials or you can share just like a e-blog or a portfolio format. So very varieties of uh, the requirement, right? You should have the clear cut the decision on that okay the purpose and first of all where should we start the website we can go to the web browser google browser uh, google chrome browser we can type sites.google.com we can type sites.google.com that is one method so you see here i am going to google browse bar here i am typing sites.google.com okay sites.google.com we just enter now we are coming to this one so here you can notice the left side is the main menu you can see the main menu contents and this one is the icon of the google sites here you can notice that the template kind of the page icon so this is the google sites creation first page from here you can make use of you can take various tools and other requirement things to create your website so this is the beginning point you have to come to sites.google.com right okay another way also is there if you have google gmail account you can go to the gmail account and from the gmail account you can click this the matrix kind of google apps icon there you can select drive double click that you will be coming to this window okay so here you can see this is the window right so from here so many folders so many files also will be there instead you can create a folder how can we create a folder you just see here you just click and come to this place new folder you just click that new folder will be created you can give the name sample google site that is what i did here so triple zero g site sample i am double clicking that and getting into that folder now we are in the newly created folder in this folder only i am going to place all my documents files information anything related to my google site okay now we can ask one question what is the necessity of this folder and what is the connection between google site and uh, this folder the google site are nothing but a uh, files they live in your google drive so this place is nothing but the google drive 
in this place only we are going to accommodate all the files materials videos etc etc all those things so those information only collectively collectively going to give us a website with the help of the google site application okay now we are here in the folder and you can right click your mouse button a pop-up menu you come down see more in this more you can see google sites you click that google sites we are coming to a new tab so this is the place the first place the starting point of your google site creation here you can notice the icon okay and this is the page the banner page of your website can we see this is just now we have come we have started to create the website right we will see how it will be looks like in the bottom in the top side you can notice one icon the preview icon just click that preview icon because before that i will remove the extra folders extra tabs now see you just click this preview it is not showing anything right now i am clicking this this i am typing that's it i want to accommodate by dragging okay so that i can place it now some changes have been made right now we'll see now it is getting activated or not now it is activating the previously that was an empty now see sakalyan's session so this is the first page and the banner of your website this is the bottom side you can see this is the large screen the same thing you can use with the help of the tab tablet so this will be like this if you are coming to the mobile phone screen it will be looks like this okay so in the bottom side you can add on information i am closing this i am coming back to my editing screen okay right first one we have to give the title of the page your page title so what is the page title this one is here now you see this is a untitled site untitled site so what is this this is the file page one page right so here you can give some name test site okay test site that's it now see i had given only one place but here also representing the same name test site and then what is this and what is this what is the purpose of these things this is the file name here we can see the file name see test site this is the file name this is the website name your google website name this you can change this you can change what we can change website name uh session with me okay session with me that is a website right now see we will see this preview session with me is the website name and the kalyan session is the banner okay so here we can notice the small icon showing that session with me that is the file name if you are going to drive you can see the session drive i will re um, refresh this okay so here we can see the test site the test site is the file name so this one is the website name you got it now i am closing this i am coming back right next one here you can see small icon this icon is default icon given by the google this also we can change with our company name company logo right that will see one by one okay we will add some contents we will add some contents so what contents we can add this is the undo button this is the redo button this is the preview button this is for the link right now it is not activated and this is for the share with others share with others the this one is the settings icon you just click you can see the settings and settings also will be using later we can see now here you can see the three tabs the side tabs these are the side tabs 
the first tab, second tab, third tab. First tab is insert. These are the contents of the insert. Just browse down, you can see various content. This will be very, very helpful at the time of inserting. If you want to insert the page, otherwise you want to enter the, the YouTube or you want to write something text before that we have to put the placeholder or you want to put an image. The image also should be kept inside huh? so the placeholder. So or you want to portion, divide, so give some space between some portion of the content and another portion of the content. Okay. So this is the divider. And if you want to give some buttons by clicking the button, you should go to the second page or last page or appropriate that given title. Okay. So that is the button. For example, your website contains some 50 pages. Okay. So you want to move to one of the um, some analysis page. It is around 38 page. So we cannot browse down and search. No, we can give the button here. Go to 38, go to 31, 33. So if you're pressing that button, automatically goes to that place. So this is a kind of uh, what we can call that task. Uh, that is a hyperlink or internal linking. Okay. Or we can call it that as a anchor link, anchor link. So everything is one and the same. Okay. By using the button, we can do that. And we can insert some calendar, we can insert Google map, or we can insert. So these are the various things we can charts, all these things we can insert, right? So this is the template given by the Google. I don't want this temp template. I want to go with my own design. Of course, you can do that. So here you see, these are the templates. If you are clicking this, the template will be different. Here you can add one image, here one image, here one image, because you are using this image, you no, know, this template. Accordingly, the titles also will be changed. We can make use of this page. Otherwise, if this kind of the thing, you can do that accordingly. And this one, you can do that. So you pick up the template. And one more thing, it's a free service and they are not charging anything. Okay. So the options also will be limited. We cannot go beyond that. For example, you want to put some, uh, what is it, uh, some, uh, the dynamic, otherwise some, um, motion buttons, the buttons are JF files or animations. This and all is not possible. Of course, we can do, but we have to go to the HTML. HTML codes should be implemented here. That is a different process that we can think later. Initially, in right now, our agenda is how to design and how to construct a Google site. Okay, right. And here, this is the banner, right? I want to change the banner. The banner should be very full length or very smaller or I don't want any banner. I just I want to put only the text that also possible header type by clicking the header type this cover page. It's a larger one. You see it's a full length full page. If it is a large banner in the sense this is the large banner cover is completely okay. So this is a smaller banner. You can see that I don't want any background only text as the caption this is also possible like this it will be looks like okay okay so once again header if you want to put the cover the big image we can keep that okay the design is okay nice but how to insert the image how to bring the image you see here change image you can select image from your local drive or you can upload from some other place for example, I'm selecting select image. If there is any locally available, see, I'm selecting this and select. Now see, it has been changed. The same diagram, same image, I want to convert into large banner. See, it is. it becomes a smaller one. Still, it is a banner. Only title in this sense, image, gone. Okay, so that is how we can do that. And so this is the place we can change the banner modification as well as we can bring the image file. Okay. And here you can see add logo. If your company logo before that, we will see this can be changed. Okay. What we can do? Colonization. Okay. Let it be. So here I want to change on logo. You click that. It comes to this dialog box. Here you can see navigation this is a brand images the brand image this company logo is one type of logo and here also one type of logo so this one is a favorite icon favorite fav icon see f a v fav icon this one is a logo right so right now 
logo you can select or upload i am going to select some logo i will try to see is there any logo for example we will take quarmandal okay inset okay uploader here you can see you can notice here or we will take some i am deleting that i am selecting shall go with this right i am taking that inset now we can say upload we will select our own logo the photos my drive there is no files i think yes i am uploading three files into my drive okay this i will be using in our purpose right so here see these are the files i am selecting this file and saying inset okay now see this file is copied here okay right and for the fave icon also i am going to select one file from the drive from my drive i click this from my drive in this folder i kept it i am selecting this one saying insert in color difference and this also came to this place and we have to upload it now see this is how we can add our logo can you see that you go to that and preview now we can see in a larger screen also we can see the icon i am closing this i am coming back so logo also we are able to update now next one we can see the themes what are the themes here you can see the right side the side tabs on is inside pages themes you now just click the themes this is the sample and a simple theme by default you can change the color just to click this if you are okay with this theme you can change the color or if you don't want this you can go to the next one you see this is the different one or this is a different one so here some themes are already given accordingly we can select okay so even if you want to change the color you can change the color that is up to you okay or if you want to go with some your own customized cover color we can do that by using the uh, this color code we can change the color so better i am going with the default one right now okay we add our own image here we can add our own images also how we can do that image just we have to go to the change image we have to select the select image we will go with the already existed default thing okay mm, we already used this okay we will change this and select now see this is how we can change the background image if you want to add more image you can do that even here you can input some gif images uh, we will try in google pixels i'm going to this place so p e x e l s here mm, the banner images for google site click enter we can see okay save link as i am coming to this place coming to this place and change image select image and by url that url i am giving here Oh, this not this URL. Mm. Copy image address. Okay. See, this has come here. Select that. Now we can see this image here. See. Okay. So this is how we can do that, and we can come back to our site. See, I am closing and coming back to. In the editing mode so this is how we can change the background image also now we are slowly moving to the menus how we can do the menus see if you want to do the menus here gear icon is there this is the gear icon you just click the gear icon 
if you are taking that now you can see the mode this is the top mode or side mode you see this is the side one this is the top one i can understand whether it is a side one or top one the menu items will be placed in the top so like this okay otherwise if you are selecting this the menu items will be placed left side so that is a navigation mode the color also transparent color otherwise any opaque color what color you want to have as the uh, the menu items that we can do with the help of this thing very limited colors are there okay so this is the way we can change the menu item so what are the menu items contains items we can add and we can see that okay and uh, we can add and the pages so now we are going to add the pages these are the pages just click the right side this is the page and how to add the page you just come down you can see yeah plus so here new page also can be added or new link also can be added new page added in the sense see i just click new page what is the first page is a i am saying this is the home page already there you see this is a home page so now i am typing first page or about us about us okay and uh, so this is advanced one custom path also we can give we don't have any path here so simply about us and say done now see about us is added in this place how to bring this about us home to this place just now we discuss we come to this place and uh, you go to edit logo in this logo navigation is there this is side is selected if you are selecting top it is come to this place okay you close this now we are able to see the home and about us and the one more you go down see once again you click one more you can add what is the name you want to add about us then intro or company profile and say done okay so this has been added the next one if you want to add one more you can add it right i am adding one more after company a director or management team just say s yes, c management team anything you want to add yes mm. then what you want to add after management team department heads okay now see these are the items the home about us these are the items all the items are added like this now i want to make this department head as sub page of the management just hold and take and release on management see it becomes a sub now we are not able to see the department heads even this also if you are moving this company profile on to about us release that now the company profiles if see if you are clicking this we can see the company profile right and one more if you want to add one more subtitle to this or subtitle to this you place that there you right click the three buttons and add sub page what are the sub page branches done now see if you are clicking this we can see company profile and the branches you got it and if you don't want to keep the branches here you just hold and bring it down you release that okay you can bring and you can place it here now it is placed there you see now it becomes normal this also you can place you see this also become normal just to hold it instead of moving just one line comes you know in between we have to release so that all the menus we can see we can change the order also okay so this is how we can add the menus and so now we are comfortable with the how to create the pages the page is also available in the top here uh, 
if you are going to the preview screen we can notice the home page if you are clicking if you are selecting the about us it is going to the next screen you see the background of the particular the banner of the uh, about us also changed so easily we can understand we are in the another page like the branches you see here also the next one so what are the menus you are adding all the menus will be going to start as a fresh page okay just like a tab okay okay now uh, we completed all the items in the pages now we are coming back to the insert collab the text the table of contents how the table of contents will be working we will see that see i am clicking the table of content the placeholder the text folder comes to this place in this we can add the table of contents how it will be getting updated it just to come down and you can start right so if you want to start right you should have the text box right so here in the insert you can see this text box you select the text box and start typing what we can type um, for example about the company about as otherwise about the company okay so this is the the title how can we say this is the title you select this you select and you see here you can see the editing options right normal text you select now you can give this as the heading see it becomes highlighted so it becomes a bigger characters at the same time this about the company becomes the part of the table of contents you got it it becomes part of the table of contents dynamically the table of contents also will getting updated now i i will show the title i show the title so what we can give uh, the company name let us assume kalyans company limited just for the example i have given this i have selected this and going to this editing option box i chosen as the title now come out you see kalyan company limited this becomes the title and this becomes the heading you got it now under this company you can write you want to type anything you can type the text okay so next one you can write uh about the director or the management team management team okay so this management team i am selected and given as the subheading now you come out you just click outside the box you can notice that it is this is the title this is a heading this is a subheading if you want to add one more subheading right you can type something let us assume like that and uh, the branches the branches the branches i am selecting shift and left arrow we can easily select this right or you can use the mouse also i'm going there subheading you click that outside of the box now go to the table of content you see this is a subheading this is also tab subheading okay so this is how we can create the table of contents got it so one more um the title uh, no sorry one more subtitle the branches and branch heads i'm giving branch heads so here we have given the sub headings so this is the way we can add uh, the table of contents right see from the um the table of contents i selected this i simply went to that particular place right okay okay so this is how we can make use of this one right if you want to insert image we can insert image in case of embed see 
I am showing that uh, how we can make use of the embed. I am selecting this. Here we can give some URLs. So what are the URLs? I am going to some um, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Okay, so this is the four minutes. We will take this link address. Come back to this place. I am giving that link address URL. See, it is that video has come to this place. We just insert that video will be inserted here. We can minimize or maximize just like an image, right? And we can place here as a content. And this block and there's a blue box also can be given emphasize to so it will be like this. In case if you want to use emphasize one, this is emphasize one, or you can go to the regular, it is a regular normally. The video only will be updated and uh, emphasize two. These colors also we can, if you want to change, you can change the colors. That is not an issue. Okay. So, and uh, this is embedding and a drive. We can bring the material from the drive and um, the type of contents, the image cursor. See, this one is image carousel. Um, the moment the the picture will be sliding right for example we will take this I am going to select the image from the local drive okay I am selecting this image this image this image I am inserting all the images three four images see the carriage well must have at least two images right we have chosen the five images right now i am inserting so it is inserted here okay so this i am enlarging like this then you see if you are going to you see how many pictures of the four pictures are here that we can see in this place i am going to the preview so if you are coming down you can see the video here and here you see in the arrow we can move to the next one we can move to the next one we can move to the next one like that we can see the videos okay the images so that is the use of this one for example if you want to display about your certificates you can get all the jpg format the certificates you can place somewhere and you can use this option so that we can browse one by one certificates automatically okay and this is a button you just click the button now where is it yeah this is the button button we can give the name for example contact us contact us so the link otherwise okay the link the link where it is there that link about us or branches or company profile for example i've been given branches see insert now see this is the button in case if you are clicking this automatically that link that uh, and the link control goes to the particular contact us page so what are the inbuilt given that place it will be more okay so that is how we can see internally linkage as possible or you can give the urls to go to the outside of this web page okay so you can use this button to your blog for example my personal link or personal profile the button Okay, so by clicking that, it will take us to the particular block, even it is outside. So that is how we can make use of this. This is a placeholder, just so this is a placeholder. We can place any image. You see, if you are clicking this, we can upload from or we can select image or from drive or YouTube or calendar map, anything. The map, in a sense, we just click the map, it will open the map and enter the location. We give the, the location airport or uh, okay Rajivan international airport so this is the airport and this location you can enlarge or minimize that is up to you and you can select it that map will be inserted at the particular place you can now enlarge like this okay so they can minimize they can see that the maps even documents also we can add the documents you see 
you can select some documents you can bring those documents into a websites okay so this is how we can insert the documents and apart from that we can use the slides you can bring the PPTs or in a individual slides or even we can Google Sheets also we can insert okay so that is how we can make use of the sheets part of our websites okay right Google Forms also Google Forms as well as charts also can be inserted Google Forms ready-made ready it will be ready to accept the data from you people see these are the forms directly we can insert they can go to visit our uh, google sites from there they can fill up that also will be coming to our background database okay so this is how we can do that i think you people are very clear about all the options so how we can use how the information should be given and how we can project ourselves in a systematic way is in your hands hyperlinks also can be given for example this is the i am putting on the placeholder in this placeholder i want to insert one image selecting the image okay i will take this image okay so this image if you are putting image we can see these items okay so we can crop it we can increase the size or we can uncrop or even you can minimize this okay so this is the insert link the link also can be inserted what are the link you want to insert whenever they are clicking here i want to take the people to www.youtube.com slash kalyan classroom this is the link apply okay right then what else if you are selecting this is the crop this is uncrop this one is the link this one is delete and this the more editing options what else more editing options we can add a text or we can add captions replace the image with some other image the link already given but image you want to change that also possible nice you see if you are coming to this preview we can notice that if you are clicking this it will be going to that particular website isn't it so that is the way we can use these hyperlinks so the hyperlink can be inserted onto a text onto the image now you see um, i am giving one text box go to my profile okay you select that here we can see insert link and about us this otherwise new link the new link will be www and uh, youtube.com slash kalyan classroom apply you can use any url no? it's not any restrictions now we are going to the preview and you see the text is here here is a highlight here is a hyperlink you just click that hyperlink we are moving to the given website page isn't it so like that you can make use of this my personal profile or my research papers or the my blog the passion link like that we can give in our the google sites okay so once i'm closing i'm coming back to the editing mode so once we are completing all these things then we can move to and one more thing i forgot to mention see if you are going to um, the next page this is the profile right this is the next page and this is the next page you see i'm going to here this is a home page we are able to see this banner if you are going to profile we are going to we are able to see this profile that means here also we can add amount of contents branches so one is about me one is about my education one is about my charity one is about my project one is about my uh, the research works here also we can accommodate a number of pages clear you maintain this google site as the the professional touch point so that is why don't mix your the family photographs or uh, the relatives mother father this group the family gatherings so 
that is better to avoid such kind of um, the personal family related things in the professional website so that is the reason i am insisting you to create a blog for your personal profile okay so you should have the clarity between the personal as well as the professional dimension right i am coming back so this is how we can see so once if you are completing all these things you have to click on this publish so if you are clicking publish it will be given some alert review changes and publish last published two days ago see you have to verify all the changes if everything is perfect then you can double check after that you can give publish so now it is getting published okay that's it now see nice you see i am able to see this so what is the url sites.google.com/ipindia.org session with me slash home session with me is our website name right got it see this is a website name this is a page name this is the file name okay so whenever you want to add more contents you can add into the google drive that already we have shown that in that google drive you can add it so that we can access from this place so from drive you select the drive from the drive you can choose any one of the folder even complete folder also can be shared for example uh, this is the our example folder right i selected that folder and simply giving insert now the folder is here what are the material i stored in that folder all the things are here anyone coming to my website coming to my google site they can download this the complete materials also we can share with our participants okay so this is the way we can make use of this drive and the complete folder also can be inserted i am right now deleting this so this is a way okay that way i can also show you here the newly launched the newly inserted the diagram as well as see this icon is here so this is how our company logos also can be inserted so this is the way we can create a simple easy neat google sites for our application here we are going to see the very important points about adding editors see in the top side we are able to see these icons uh, all these things already we have discussed and this one is share with others so what are the meaning of this we can add editors and you need to have some editors the content additions uh, to add the contents so we can invite few of our colleagues or friends or content writers or to manage our site for adding by adding some contents we can go to this icon and we are able to see here uh, you can add people your friends otherwise somebody whom you want to add you can add the emails email of them so they will be acting they are uh, they can act as a editors to this websites restricted mode okay they only can add the contents so such a way we can give the permission to others to access our website in administrative point of view right the next one is you see this is the owner right so we are the owner our email id using which email id you have created that email id is shown here and the bottom side you can see the links the links is very very important you click this change now we are able to see the draft the organization name anyone in this group with this link can edit if you are giving this link if you are giving this permission then anyone with this email id they can edit this you see anyone in this group with this link can edit in the sense this one is a ip group for example abc group in the sense with the abc email id anyone can come and edit this so that is the way we can give the permission otherwise if you are restricting nobody can only people added can open with the link that is a restricted mode if you are coming to this one by default this is the one right only with the organization email id they can with this link can edit 
the last one is the anyone with this link if you are giving this link anybody outsiders not only within the organization group anybody outsiders group also can do corrections correction this is anyone the internet with this link can edit so these are the three permissions one is restricted only to the email IDs. this one is the second one is only for the within the organization with the group id the next one is anyone with the link right so this is the editing editor permission the next one you see this is a viewer to whom we want to give the permission to view the contents if you are not accessing this one properly the, if you are not fitting fixing this one properly only insiders only can view other outsiders cannot view the contents it will be raising on some errors this is very important point we have to note right so if you are giving public here then only see i am going to other browser other browser from here i am going to access so what are the permission this is the email id i am copying the url the url generally will be very lengthy so the lengthy url if you are keeping in your the cv it won't looks nice right so you simply come to the short that uh, the shortener the shortener how can we get the shortener url shortener you just search in the google bar it will be showing so many websites you pick one and the copied url is pasted here see the url becomes very short i am copying this or you simply copy url you go to the browser you paste that shorten url and click enter now see we are getting accessing that session so what are the site we have used the url this is very short but you see i am coming to browser here what is the length of this url it is very lengthy so this is the same way you can shorten and you can make use of this short urls in your cv that will be nice okay it will be very less space very nice and one more thing nobody will be promoting us we have to take the strategic way of promoting otherwise exhibiting our knowledge and our experience quality to the recruiters or wherever it is required thank you